ako mismo, uh, I kind of felt a similar social pressure uh, not to get married, but um uh, after I got married, matagal kaming walang mm-hmm. anak, no? So ibang mm-hmm. ibang klaseng pressure 'yon na every time you show up somewhere, ganun, parang Uy, tumatanda na kayo. Ano, 'di ba? Sayang naman yung jeans niyo. I mean, I I kind of heard <laughs> similar at, at um, you know, I'm and nakaka-pressure din, no? Uh, you know, you try to joke about it and try to brush it off. Pero yung pag paulit-ulit na, um you kind of yun nga, I I actually did a docu about it, about the difficulty of having children, no? Um mm-hmm. uh for some couples, uh it's so easy, 'di ba? I mean, they have five, six children para may mm-hmm. ka. Bakit bakit sila napakadali? Kami sobra kaming nahirapan and and, and we actually we only have one, no? Uh, we're not mm-hmm. going to have more and even up to now um sinasabi sa amin na parang ang tipid mo naman, no? 'di ba? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ako lagi ko sinasabi, buti nga nagkaroon ng isa, eh, 'di ba? But but back to ano being single no kasi na interview ko si Dr. Margie Holmes around Valentine's Day no and then we chose to talk about um uh those who who feel left out on Valentine's Day no kasi nabanggit mo nga na ikaw nga you kind of you you were hearing a lot of these uh, comments around that time no and you itong si, si Margie Holmes yung relationship advice columnist no mm-hmm. and she's written books about about uh, advice uh, about her advice uh, about relationships romance sex etc no uh, she she has been calling for a stop no na dito sa pagse-shame <laughs> ng mga singles no sinasabi niya dapat tigilin na itong shaming ng mga single irespeto natin yung pagiging single as a choice no Uh, mm-hmm. it, it's a choice no and um uh it kasi sa ibang kultura maybe even there in Europe and Spain no you're not going to be bothered much about it and there there are many people many women who actually probably choose it choose to be single i've met uh, a lot of mm-hmm. women actually who choose to be single even filipinas no so dito sa atin um dahil nga you're encouraging Uh, a, a more open and frank uh, discussion about it and maybe ch- trying to change attitudes may napapansin ka ba na na pagbabago sa sa mm-hmm. social attitudes uh, tungkol dito tungkol sa mga ibang bagay na dapat a matter of choice you know how many children you should have or whether you should have children or whether you should get married uh, there are certain expectations of us no uh, traditionally mm-hmm. pero dahil we're modern people now Diba? We're hoping na magbago na rin yung attitudes ng mga tao. So, may meron ka rin ba na, napapansin na pagbabago pagdating sa mga social mm-hmm. attitudes? To be honest, Sir Howie, parang ngayon, especially kasi sa social media doon, ko kasi nakikita yung mga tao, hindi ka man talaga masyado kilala, mas marami sa mga bata ang ganito na yung mindset na parang kung wala pa, edi wala pa, parang let's go have fun, let's do something else. But, There are still some from the older generations. Sila yung mas nagko-comment na parang, "Hoy, 33 ka na, wala ka pa ring asa, wala ka pa ring boyfriend, but parang what are you doing with your life?" Na parang yun nga dumating na rin po sa akin Sir Howie yung comment na sayang naman yung jeans mo. <laughs> mm-hmm. And parang sometimes I do engage, like sometimes I would reply dun sa mga nagko-comment ng ganun, but in a very nice way or a funny way. But for the most part, especially mga kaedad ko po, millennials, Gen Z, we we share the same sentiment na I think there's this mentality na yung mga millennials and the younger generations, we are after experiences. Like uh, the older generations, they were, let's go buy a house, let's go buy a car. But the next generation, Material siguro things, dahil ang mahal words, din, no? yes, siguro dahil ang mahal din ng bahay at ng kotse ngayon, <laughs> sabi yung mga, mga millennial, parang okay, let's go for experiences, let's go eat out, let's go travel. And it fills up their life in a way na hindi naman na iisang tabi yung relationships, but it doesn't become such a highlight. It doesn't become such a priority na parang I need to find someone for me to be happy Because you can be happy in other ways. And you mentioned, Sir Howie, na sa Pilipinas, yun masyado pa rin silang ma- mapansin sa ganyan. Actually, dito po, dahil nga mag-isa ako naglalakad, from the airport hanggang makarating ako dito, no one looks at me. Dahil mag-isa ako, I eat by myself, I walk by myself. Even sa tour bus, I'm by myself. No one looks at me weird. But if you do it in the Philippines, because I've tried it in the Philippines, sometimes I like eating out by myself. 
people look at you na parang what's wrong parang na, na was she stood up by her date bakit siya mag-isa i think it's also it's yeah it's a filipino culture na parang i think we're super based on family and having a spouse having kids na parang they worry for you when you're single and you're medyo ano na getting old na but I don't know. I think it's a personal preference. Like for me personally, I would love to have kids, but if I don't get married na soon and I don't have the kids, eh, eh wala eh parang that's not that's the card that's the card for me. Mm-hmm. It's not something that would make me feel like, oh, I'm less of a person because this didn't happen for me. And I mm-hmm. hope that's also how other people feel, especially mga babae kasi kami yung may <laughs> biological yeah, class. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, you know, as you said, it's mostly an attitude of older generations and uh, mm-hmm. eventually, syempre, lilipas din yan and um, mm-hmm. papalitan ng mga millennial uh, katulad mo. And you're doing exactly as what you're saying. I mean, you're there uh, experiencing life, experiencing new things, di ba? Uh, and uh, masaya ka. So um, I think what's what we really just need to do is respect each other's choices, di ba? Um, may mga tao na hanggang na siguro ka age mo rin na or maybe younger na priority pa rin ay maghanap ng asawa, magkaanak, etc. I mean, in in respect rin natin 'yun. But you know, there mm-hmm. are many other options in life now, no? And um 'yun, I I admire your attitude about it and the way you're handling it. So so um 'yun, mabuhay ka, no? <laughs> <laughs> 